Welcome back to Cradle to Grave R. My name is Mark Gingrass. Today, we're going to talk about how to add comments to an Excel file through using R and Open XLSX package. But we're also going to add styles and multiple styles with one comment. So it's really kind of a uh, a cool little technique to use because I don't even think you can do this within Excel very easily without using some VBA. So. With that being said, let's try it out. Let's check it out. Follow along. If you haven't um, already looked at the previous Open XLS, XLSX tutorials, there are about five or six right at this point. So please just check that playlist out and start from the beginning. So we're going to begin for us. We're going to start with opening up the library, Open XLSX. We're going to run that and then we'll create our workbook like we always do, right? Just um, what we do is we create a workbook name that's going to be meaningful, like my daily report would be meaningful. Hey, this is what I produce every day. It's a workbook that I'm going to try to upload to the uh, to the SharePoint or whatever you got to do. So now it's simple as create workbook, create capital workbook, and then that workbook object has been created. Um, once you've created that workbook, we have to add a worksheet. So we're just going to do um, the function add worksheet and then add it to what my daily report workbook my because you can have multiple workbooks at the same time you can have tons and tons of them if you'd like we'll call it um sales so our daily sales data gets put into this worksheet called sales that's what we're pretending and it's as simple as just writing a comment like comment one we're going to create a variable and we're going to call it uh we're going to call the function called create comment. So it's a little different than just writing data to a cell. So just pay attention to like the differences. So create comment and then we just put in our comment and say this is our comment. It's as simple as that. But now we've created a basically a comment object that we're gonna insert into our worksheet that's in our workbook, right, so, so to speak. So now we just have to write that comment. So we can do write comment and then when we write the comment, we just tell it which workbook to write it to. We want it in our daily, D -A -R, oh, my daily, my daily report. Um, you have to specify the sheet name, which would be sheet equals uh, sales. And then it's asking me for my column and row. So maybe I want it in column one, row, let's go row 10, just for fun. And then we'll add the comment, comment one, right? So. Ran that, no errors. Now let's just double check. So in order to do that, we have to actually save the workbook. Yeah, the workbook's in memory, but it's not really visible or usable outside of R. So let's let's just save that workbook. So save workbook and which workbook? The daily uh, report. That's what I think. My daily report. My daily report. Simple as that. And we'll just call it. Um, I, don't know, I think file equals. Uh, daily report for you dot xlsx let's just try this check it out see what it looks like so let's get the working directory here get wd okay I'm under documents test so let me just load that up uh, documents test I'll bring it over so I have daily report for you that's just been created let's open that up and we see a comment here in uh, A10, which is the first column, 10th row, and there's the comment. Now it's visible, it's showing, so that's pretty cool. That's exactly what I wanted. Now within Excel, uh, I suppose you can do bold for part of it, and you can change the size and colors. So that's cool, I didn't even know you can do that, honestly. And there's probably a way to make it so that your comments are not visible if you don't want them to be. I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, we'll play with that some other time. But for now, let's just create a couple of new styles. So I'm going to keep the save workbook down below, and we'll just create two styles. Um, style one, we'll, do, we'll just do create style. Because we can create styles for anything, like the font. Font size, let's make it uh, 14. And then there's font color, font color equals, and we'll just call it, I think, lowercase blue. Um, let's add one more attribute or parameter. Um, there's something called text decoration. That's like your bold. In fact, let me redo that uh, so that that yellow thing pops up. 
text decoration. Now I let it go. Bold, strikeout, italic, underline, and underline two. So those are your options. So we'll, let's just create it and make it bold. Um, and you can actually do multiple, I think. So we have to put it in a, in a vector format. So we'll just do, um, I think lowercase bold would do it. And then close the parentheses. Actually, it's uppercase bold because that's what the actual directions just said. <laughs> Oops. Close the other parentheses. And there's our style one. Let's create another style while we're here. So create style again. And we will do, uh, let's do a smaller font size equals, let's do 10. And then we'll do just a font color equals green on this one. Now, I'm showing you this because I'm going to separate out and have multiple styles within the same comment. All right, so in order to do that, we have to write another comment. We can do write comment again. And this time, we want to write the comment to, yes, our my daily report. I'm going to write this comment in uh, row uh, or column four, row six. Doesn't really matter. Make it up. Of course, you'd want to do it programmatically to where you exactly want this comment. Think about programming and how you can make this foolproof and scalable. And if you add rows or how do you keep track of that, you, you have to think about all that stuff. We're doing this as an example to get you started. All right, so we're just going to add a comment and it's going to be... Um, ah, we didn't create the second comment yet. So before we do that, let's create it. So we have comment one on line seven. Let's create comment two using these two styles. That would make more sense. <laughs> so, okay, let's jump back to, uh, we'll just call it C2 and we'll do create comment again, create comment. And this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna say the comment is equal to, and we're gonna make it equal to multiple things. We're gonna make it equal to a vector of comments, right? So C, and then we put another set of parentheses and we're gonna call this this is the first style, S-T-Y-L-E. And then we can do uh, some backslashes, put some spaces in there for like a return char character. And then we'll say this is our second style. And I will put this on a new line right here just to be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to the eyeballs. And so we've created the comment. Now that we have comment C2, which is a, a vector of comments, which is fine, we can actually specify when we write the comment. And I don't know why there's so much emphasis on making sure the comments have all this flexibility. But if you can do it in Excel, you should be able to do it in OpenXLSX, correct? So let's do it. So then we just say comment is equal to uh, C2. And that should write, this workbook only has one sheet. Ah, forgot the sheet. So comma, and we can do sheet equals sales again. We only have one sheet, sales. Now we're good. Now I can rewrite this to uh, to hard disk space. So save that file already exists. Uh, overwrite equals true. Remember that one? So comma, I can do over, I think overwrite equals true. That should do the trick. Run that error. Uh, <laughs> it's in Spanish. Sabinci fuera de los limites. Hmm. Well, I guess I shouldn't have put my uh, computer on Spanish. That would not make it easy for this. Save workbook, file equals. Oh, if you add multiple comments, you have to add multiple styles to it. So comma, and then you would put styles equal to, and then another vector of styles, style one and style two. That makes sense. All right, sorry about that little hiccup. And I'm sorry that it's in Spanish. Unless you speak Spanish, then I'm not sorry. Ah, so I ran the whole thing just now and it did work. So it was definitely that. I'm sorry that I had that little hiccup. Let's let's check to make sure this works. All right, this is the first style. This is the first style. It looks like, oh, and there's a second style. It just didn't show up until I clicked on it. So because this is not big enough. So we have a little bit of an issue, but you get the idea. Um, I can zoom in on this so that you can see it. So you get the idea, but um, I don't know how to make those boxes different sizes. I have no idea how to do that yet. So, but this will get you started. And I think that's about it for this tutorial. Um, I will revert back to English on my keyboard and English. I hate to do that because I'm trying to learn Spanish. 
<laughs> and it really helps. But I didn't know that the actual error report will come back in Spanish. So that being said, hey, guys, I appreciate all you guys subscribing and um, commenting. And some of you are joining the Discord. I wish that I could help a lot more. But time is limited, so please help each other out. The R community is so big, and you guys definitely know that the resources are out there. You know where to find them. Keep uh, keep me in, in uh, mind when you're sharing this on social media. Uh, I appreciate all that. Thanks.